Hello everyone, I hope everyone is having an amazing day, Spiritual Auntie here, and I know it's been a while, but I am back. Today, what we're going to be talking about is harsh readings, um, just readings in general, the word psychics and what that means. We're just going to dive really deep into the spiritual journey. We have our coffee with us we're gonna go ahead and drink some coffee if you have some water go get your snacks and i hope that you enjoy this little chit chat with me but we are going to get into harsh readings okay so for those of you that don't know me i am spiritual auntie on tiktok also known as king clairvoyant over here on youtube i am the same person i'm just known as spiritual auntie on tiktok okay and if you're not following me on instagram and on tiktok definitely go everything is in the description box below including my website if you want to book me for a reading or a reiki session or if you want to buy any one of my products which everything would be featured down below all right so harsh readings one of the main topics i like to talk about even before hold up i didn't even take my sip you caught that right i know one of you caught that let's take a sip of coffee first <sighs> amazing i have been um replacing my sugar with honey and game changer honestly so harsh readings right we've all experienced it especially if you're on social media and especially if you have tiktok right because all of a sudden all of the spiritualists all of these psychics and clairvoyants and light workers have popped out of the woodworks i have come on youtube um to do what i do right what we're doing here um about i want to say like a year ago two years ago and this was before the whole trend of like spirituality got super super popular um but because of that i feel like this year maybe like the end of last year but this year specifically i've been seeing like an influx of um psychics and like i said light workers and things like that which is beautiful but as above so below so as much as there is light and there is true and authentic people there is also the opposite who's not doing it for the right intentions and they're not doing it um for the client's greatest good they're or, or because they're passionate about it they're doing it because it's what attracts attention and it's what makes money right very money focused and i feel like these harsh readings have uh hand in hand with that right um i also have incense going in the back so i see like smoke going by that's probably why so i see a lot of tower readings okay i see a lot of tower readings on tiktok and some of them are very harsh i've made a couple videos on this you guys already know how i feel when it comes to harsh readings harsh readings do not equate to authenticity i say this because i do feel like there are a handful and it's not everybody but there are there are a handful of light workers or psychics i'm gonna say psychics okay clairvoyance right even though yes i call myself a clairvoyant but you already know the vibe i'm giving off right where it's like off the bat energy feels off and they're like screaming at you through their phone um we've all encountered those lives where we're just scrolling minding our business and we see these these people doing card readings and and they're just saying like oh well if you don't like what i have to say then you can get the f out and it's like um what spirit are you feeding like what spirit are you talking to because i don't want none of that spirit you know what i mean um i really don't like if anything i loathe and i don't loathe many things but i loathe a tower reader who makes it about them and not the client i think that in this industry um or in this realm it becomes very clear that as much as we love to heal and we love to give messages it's not about us at all okay it's really not it's about the client it's about understanding how the client can interpret your messages the best and sometimes that means we are not the best people to deliver that message so that means if i have an intuitive in mind but you're coming to me i'm going to recommend you to her or to him instead because you can you can deliver that message a lot better so sometimes we have to put ourselves not sometimes all of the time we have to put ourselves to the side and put the client as a priority and i had to slow down there because i'm like some people don't get that 
you know um we have to make sure as light workers as tower readers whatever you want to call this as healers we have to make sure that whatever we're giving you we're not just talking you to death that you're digesting and resonating with everything and it doesn't mean that what we have to say has to come out beautifully meaning it doesn't mean that we won't deliver harsh messages messages because we are going to deliver harsh messages from time to time but it does not mean or grant you permission to be nasty to a client to be rude to a client and leave a client feeling less than from when they walked in if your clients are feeling less than or little belittled right um after a reading with you i really think that you should um rewire how you're doing things because again i feel like there's a power trip that goes on with these harsh readings um and i also feel like there is a lot of ego that whole mentality of well this is how i read and if you don't like it then you can get out but the reading is not about you you know what i mean like the reading is not about you you're not the one looking for guidance our clients are this whole experience is for our client, right? To get better and to heal so that they can call us six months later talking about how they got their life together or they're in such a better place emotionally or whatever it is that they're struggling with. I feel like that is the best text messages and the best calls in my experience as a healer. When my clients get back to me months later, I haven't heard from them and I'm like, I hope that they like their reading, whatever, whatever. And I ask them for the most part at the end um, if they have time. But a lot of the time I forget because there's just so much information. So I just, you know, I give them their reading and they go about their day and so do I. But I always have my clients in the back of my mind, like, I wonder how they're doing. And nine times out of ten, they'll message me and they'll update me. And I love that. Like, that is such a beautiful relationship. And I feel like that is something that I hold very dear to me, is the relationship that I hold with my clients. When you have harsh readers delivering messages and having the attitude of, this is what I do, and if you don't like it, you can get out. Um... It doesn't leave room for communication. It doesn't leave a safe space. It doesn't leave anyone feeling good. And it, it must be exhausting if they're actually pulling from anything, you know? Which leads me to believe that a lot of them are not who they say they are, or they're feeding or talking to the wrong spirit, okay? Yes, there are times that spirit can be aggressive. There is times that their messages, if you deliver messages, um, not deliver, if you receive messages, right, um, through tough love, and you, that's how you grew up. That's the way you like. You don't like the soft spoken, um, connecting emotionally. You need to be told and you need to be spoken down to in a certain way for you to get it through your head. Then that's okay. If you like those kinds of readings, then spirit will guide me to give you a reading that way. But it still will not be on some if you don't like it you can get out i will ask you and i will be stern with you there's a difference i will be stern with you and i'll tell you whatever the topic is this is what needs to happen i say it's jane doe right this is what needs to happen jane doe like this is what needs to happen you want things to move forward but you are not moving forward because of whatever 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 this needs to happen so having that sense of urgency and having that sense of uh, authority right um feeling comfortable and also allowing this stern energy to be transferred without being rude without crossing boundaries and without making my client feel uncomfortable so even with tough love i'm still able to deliver it with all the love i can give because i have you in mind so just be mindful when it comes down to these people you know i've i've already had a two clients of mine i'm looking down because i'm looking at my notes don't don't judge me i'm gonna get better i promise um but i've already had two clients that have called me crying recently that has called me crying because they felt so out of sorts 
because of the kind of reading they got and they were just comparing it to like me and like our readings and maybe i was too booked and they just needed something like now i don't i don't get upset when my clients go to other readers if anything i embrace it right i embrace it because that means that you know exactly what you need from me and from everybody else which is beautiful it makes the job so much easier for you to heal so when i hear that my clients go to other people i don't get upset but where i do draw the line and where i do get upset is when my clients trust the wrong people and these people take advantage of them so i had two clients so we're going to talk about client one she texted me at like i want to say like 10 o'clock at night and she was basically almost about to fight this person that did this reading because she just felt like this person took full-blown advantage of her and made her feel um so little and she was just asking me like why like why would somebody do this why would somebody give a reading like this i felt like i wanted to fight this person um and i'm gonna ask her if it's okay if i can like you know drop um little photos on the screen so you can see um and if i can it'll be there um but she was just basically saying like i felt like she wanted she wanted to fight the the lady and that it was so rude and that she was speaking on things that like didn't resonate and if anything it irritated her and just to sit there to listen in it irritated her so much to even like allow her to speak on very personal and very intimate topics and that's another reason why i'm like harsh readings do not equate to authenticity because there's a lot of things a lot of vulnerability a lot of intimacy when you when it comes down to doing this uh doing readings overall so this person was speaking on very vulnerable things that was an obvious trigger for my client right and very obvious trigger so you have to treat it with delicacy especially if this client is almost to tears just talking about it so you're gonna tell me if you know this client is already broken up it's like yelling at a child that is already crying the child is not going to listen to you let's be honest the child does not does will not take in anything that you're saying because right now they're feeling overwhelmed they're feeling vulnerable they're feeling so much all at once and they're overstimulated right so they start crying to let us know they're overstimulated whatever the reason was but if you continue yelling at this child do you think that what you say is going to penetrate and they're actually going to stop crying and be like oh yeah you're right no they're going to cry even more and if anything they might even resent you for a couple hours right we've all been there where we slam our door and we go to our room we're like oh i i hate my parents you know but instead this is a more serious situation we're not talking about children's situations we're talking about adult situations very sensitive very very sensitive situations and you're gonna say like ah oh, it just boils my blood you guys i'm pausing because i'm just like oh i'm gonna take another sip of coffee because it's just oh you know what i mean and she was just basically like trying to coach her on the situation and she was telling my client um based off of the text messages she was telling my client that like she's a big mistake basically um and that she's a big mistake that keeps making mistakes and that like she was speaking on like very like i said very sensitive information and you know she walked away feeling like she wanted to fight somebody and now you know a lot of my clients because a lot of them are either first time uh, clients of mine they love my readings right and i'm not saying that out of ego i'm just saying it because it's true a lot of my clients especially here came to me and actually thanked me for how i do my readings and how much love and how she feels the love through my readings because she went to somebody else and this is how they are and i'm not saying i'm the best of the best there's definitely better than me there's definitely more experience there's always going to be something above right all of us right to compare to um, but i'm not comparing what i'm basically saying is that it's rare to find an authentic person that really loves what they do and would treat it with care and have you in mind um a lot of the times that that doesn't happen and nine out of ten times with my clients when they step out the circle they end up coming back to me immediately just to reconcile right just to say you know what i had this horrible reading i just want to confirm that this reading 
it was exactly what I thought it was, which is a phony, you know? Um, so they come to me to kind of clarify certain things, and there's certain things that do come into fruition, but it's not at all, at all, in the sense or energy or aggression in which it was originally spoken on. So it all depends on the reader. So I want to move on from that topic, right? And I want to continue into your discernment. I think discernment to prevent this from happening, prevent these fake readers, these fake psychics, or these harsh readers who think that cursing and you know doing ah, 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 all that stuff is going to get them somewhere or or get them the good word of mouth i don't know where and anyways <laughs> anyways um i want to talk about discernment discernment is super super important make sure you do your research i'm reading make sure you do your research okay make sure you look at their reviews their testimonies if you see that a client has messaged them like on a uh, public app make sure you look at all their socials by the way social media whether that's websites instagrams tiktok look at everything before booking see if there's clients that are messaging and if they are message the client and be like hey i saw that you commented and as weird as it sounds just do it if you feel that unsure because you know what can you lose they don't answer or they give you a nest just block them you know like what can you lose by asking a lot 10 out of 10 times you will not get a negative response um because i've done it before but i'll message like one or two people like hey like how did you like their readings i can't find reviews anywhere but their energy feels really good please be honest and they will be honest you know um whether you want to message their clients and ask them like how is their experience or just going through their content and see how you feel you know um see how you feel with the overall energy see the messages that they're overall spreading if they're more of like a influencer like i am um they should be speaking on certain spiritual things what angle are they hitting do you resonate right again if this person is sitting with you in this reading and you don't feel comfortable let them know that there's something that you just are not clicking with you just don't feel comfortable and that's okay um you can make something up even like oh um you know i i i don't feel comfortable because i'm i've been having anxiety can we try to can we try to take a couple of deep breaths together or, or like you know try to try to see if it's your anxiety or if it's actually this person and see how they respond because if they respond negatively and they make it seem like you're a waste of time which goes into my client number two then that definitely means they are not the one for you um there's a lot of readers as well that may not be fake but they're very outdated okay so client number two was literally um last night and i'm having a reading with her today because she was just so out of sorts about it but there was an older woman that she went to to um get this reading done and she was feeling so all over the place just because how the reading went down okay um she felt disregarded her feelings were just kind of like how do you say like thrown to the side she was expressing certain things and this uh and she recorded it so i was able to actually see and hear like what was actually going on um so like this this i heard like this psychic basically like disregarding my client's feelings basically telling her um like making jokes about her pain a little bit um making jokes about why she was there um and she happened to bring somebody with her and they were more so focused on the friend than they were on my client um so it was just like very mixy and it wasn't really genuine and i was telling my client that there are a lot of psychics that are also outdated okay meaning they're not doing their work so just like hairstylists they take classes like yearly or every month or every six months they take a class just to freshen up on their skills and to make sure that they're like growing with the times and things like that psychics are no different clairvoyants light workers we are no different we have to continue putting ourselves into these lessons into this um um like school basically we have to put ourselves back into these classes and to make sure that we're healing deeper and that we're doing our work and we are refreshing our our mind and we're open and and healing deeper for you so that you can have a better experience as a client 
but there are some readers that don't do that so you will see a lot of readers who are like stuck in the 80s okay and the 80s way of thinking 80s way of doing readings and there's nothing wrong with doing readings traditionally but there is a difference between doing things traditionally and doing things the old-fashioned way because that's what you're comfortable with and you refuse to continue growing you know so client number two just felt like she was treating things like because again in the 80s like they were psychics but they weren't as like in your face as they are now you know like because we're everywhere you know like light workers healers like you can find us pretty much on every social media app that wasn't the case before you know every, we a lot of light workers were kind of hidden still um you know and maybe they were able to get their own shop but people still felt kind of skeptic with going to them because it's like these shops look you know kind of creepy even to me it looks kind of creepy um so you know they felt like they had the authority like they can say whatever they want you know they can say what they want and their word is golden because there was not many people that they can like cross check their information with psychic wise i'm saying so as sidekicks in the 80s i just feel like whatever they said that's that's the truth like that's it whether you like it or not this is your reading and here's my money thank you and it was like more of a transaction um and that's not for everyone i'm not speaking for everyone but there is a handful that is very stuck in that and that's where i say there is a line between those who are passionate and see this as a lifelong purpose and those who are just invested in it because of the money and 10 out of 10 times the people that are stuck in the older times for the older generations they're just doing it strictly for the money they got used to punching in and punching out instead of viewing it as a life purpose okay so when you are looking for a reader okay if you really do need a reading because you also have your natal chart you guys you guys don't have to get read every time i always recommend if you guys before you spend the money look at your natal chart see if that helps see if that brings you any clarity the natal chart literally breaks down every single aspect of your being right it breaks down your emotions it breaks down your anger your frustrations your everything your financial your love how you you know see things how you are um your flaws all of that stuff right the needle chart breaks everything down for you um and i would try to see if i can link the the one i like to use down below um but i would definitely suggest for those of you who are still feeling a little skeptic and you still feel like you can't trust too many people um when it comes down to having readings i would definitely say that try to read your natal chart okay um also do like i said background checks on the reader make sure you can see the difference between uh the passionate ones and the ones that are just doing it strictly for money um and also make sure that they're not projecting because that's another thing that happens in readings right where readers will project onto the reading like what they're going through onto the reading so let's say they're going there they are either going through a situation very similar or they've been through they're assuming that your partner or your situation is going to look exactly the same and if you hear them constantly like comparing the two unless you unless you resonate which is different because sometimes even i do it where i'm like i try to make it um like almost visual for you to be able to understand a little bit better so i like to like uh, bring in imagery and i like to bring myself in sometimes so that you don't feel like i'm talking down to you like i want to show you that we all go through it right but there's just a difference between trying to level with someone and making them feel comfortable and telling them like it's okay like i've been there versus like oh because it happened to me i already know you know like it happened to me don't do it like i've been there done that like don't even don't don't like if you hear more of an opinion than you do um knowledge or like wisdom that's where you have to like ask yourself and like put up that wall like hmm, something doesn't feel right you know um there's one more thing that i wanted to bring up what was it in the meantime i'm gonna take a little coffee break what was it that i wanted to talk about oh my gosh we're already at 25 minutes i need to hurry up with this video i was supposed to do 15 minutes um but i guess hopefully you guys will stay to the end um what was the last thing i wanted to bring up I don't think I remember like I literally had it on the tip of my tongue 
and then I forgot I'm literally looking through my notes outdated readers vulnerability difference between messages ego and projecting we spoke about that the clients I don't know I forgot maybe it wasn't meant to be um but oh I remember I was like that made me so happy okay I remember lastly when looking for a reader make sure that you're not giving them more information than they're giving you that's something that I noticed with client number two um, and that's something else that she was very upset on like it was almost as if this psychic was asking her questions and then being like oh yeah I saw that like oh is there is there a white door with a painting on it no okay so what is it that you do have and then the client would be like well i have a blue door with a doorknob and the sidekick was like yep that's exactly what i saw um like she guessed the age of the person and she was like i'm seeing this number and client number two was like yeah no you're like 15 years off oh but you know they're they're messing the spirits are messing with me like there was just an excuse for so much and the only reason why i know that is because i was able to see like hear this reading full like in full effect um but make sure that when you walk into a reading don't give them too much information when it comes down to me and my readings i can only speak for myself i make sure that my clients are very broad very basic when it comes to what they're seeking right because i ask you if you're going to book a reading with me you're going to see right where i say what are you seeking when you're booking with me so i have an idea of what cards to pull what cards to cleanse what what to meditate on what crystal to pull so it's like i have an idea of the experience that i want to give you um and if if you do write something which obviously it's either general um general read or like yearly read um or update um sometimes they put love financial wealth um career path things like that but that's it you guys I, like that's literally it when it comes down to my clients i i like to present them with the information even if i'm a little off i still like to present present them with the information meaning like if i'm saying oh i feel like it's a fatherly figure but instead it's a part it still shares that like authoritative figure where it's like you know maybe this person feels like they don't want to disappoint them or they look up to them or you know like there's still the energy is very much the same i just didn't um see it so clearly but as far as like things like completely wrong and just agreeing because i'm like oh yeah i saw that even though that's not what i said at all no 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 no, no, no. um there was one client that i actually had and i'm gonna close it out with that because we're already at 29 minutes Oy, I'm, i don't even know how i'm gonna edit this <laughs> i'll figure it out for you guys but there was one client that i i just love talking about this experience because it just it, it'll bring it all in um so there was one client where we were talking and she was talking about her house and how she just felt like everything in her in her house like energy wise was all over the place and i was asking like does her mother practice and she was like no my mom does not practice at all no 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 and i was like that's interesting because you have your energy coming through this is their name this is what she's telling me this is what she does this 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 and that and i was like and she's telling me that she's a great grandmother um or like a great great grandmother i don't really remember it was like maybe a year ago um and you know she was like nope 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 like i don't resonate and that was like one of the first times and still like that was like the first time ever that like one of my clients were like nope 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 i don't resonate i don't know who you're talking to that's not me that's not me that's not me um and i was like okay well i apologize like you know i cleansed the space and i just continued on with her reading while closing the connection with that specific person i'm um, spirit right an hour after our reading she texts me back and she says oh my gosh i had no idea that my great great grandmother even practiced because she does um or she did and she was like the maiden name that you gave me is actually even though i told you i've never heard of it that was actually her the correct maiden name that you gave me earlier and she was like and i know you said that my mom wasn't practicing but i just asked her and i found out that she is so she was like everything that you said was on point and that's what i mean when i say it's okay that 
in the moment you don't have to resonate but through time and understanding things will come into fruition and it will show you so it's not that every single reading you're gonna like which there will be times where you're gonna resonate with everything but there might be things that have room to grow and to come into fruition later in time but that doesn't mean that she gave me any of her information all i knew was her first name and last name and her great great grandmother's maiden name had nothing to do with her her new name and it wasn't even the same so for me to just kind of pull that out of thin air you know so with all that to say when you're walking into a reading, make sure they're reading you, not the other way around. Make sure you're allowing them to speak. Stay quiet, even if they are, okay? Um, and make sure you take down notes so that you can see what exactly you are pulling away from this reading. I always tell my clients, take notes, take notes, take notes. Because not only do I say a lot, Spirit says a lot, um, and I love to give you abundant information, you guys will also come to me like oh what did you say what is this and i will not remember because that was spirit not me and i'm just the vessel um so i always tell my clients take notes take notes take notes okay so feel free and if you're the psychic that you're going to does or the, the reader that you're going to doesn't allow you to take notes that's a red flag for me off the bat but anyways, I hope that you learned a couple things and I hope that you enjoyed this conversation. Comment below what you've been doing, whether it's drinking, water, eating, washing dishes, cleaning. A lot of my clients clean while I chit chat um, and I let some things off my chest. But it feels really, really good to be back. I love you guys. And as you know, if you guys need readings, I am available all of March, the rest of March and April. So definitely book your readings down below. Make sure you support my small business. If you need Palo Santo, candles, oils, anything like that, spiritual baths, you can definitely click the link in my description box where it says my website, oracleshop.com. I make everything by hand. I ship everything myself um and is there anything else oh in my reiki sessions i know you guys love my reiki if you guys would like to book a reiki session with me everything is found on my website oracleshop.com and i also have reviews on google so if you google oracle shop new jersey you will find my um store and you'll see the reviews all there i always tell my clients be honest i had a lot more reviews than that but i switched websites and i lost it so if you guys are my clients and you guys are watching this and you haven't left me a review yet please leave me a review on google it's so so appreciated be as honest as possible um i love you guys and hopefully this was helpful let me know if you guys like this kind of podcast style soft-spoken um, conversation and let me know what you guys want to hear drop some topics below hopefully i can do this weekly i'm gonna cross my fingers but hopefully we can do this weekly we are 34 minutes in so i'm gonna close it right there i love you so much thank you so much for subscribing commenting liking clicking the little bell for notifications when i post um follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok and i'll see you next week i love you have a good day Bye.